Today we are doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be cooking. So I'm going to do a cooking video for you guys. And today we're going to be making the shrimp etouffee. The word is in French, so it's kind of like hard to say. But this is what we're making if you guys ever ate this before. I used to eat it a lot a long time ago. But Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is making our rice. And the first thing I do when I make my rice, I rinse it off. And you want to rinse your water off until the water is like not cloudy anymore and that's how you know it's ready to like start doing it but for my ingredients i have my salt and my olive oil and your onion and then my italian part okay first you're going to take your salt and just put a palm of salt not too much and you're just going to put it in here and take a little bit more And after that, you're gonna take your olive oil and you usually wanna put like That's usually how much you wanna put. And then after that, you wanna take, I'll just start off with my onion. Take our onion and we just cup like a quarter of it, not too much. Take your parsley and you don't you don't have to take too much just about not like that much okay perfect after you get that you're just going to cut it up just like you cut the onions up Rice too. So there you have it. You have all your ingredients in your rice. You have all your ingredients in your bowl, your onions, your parsley, and your olive oil and your salt. You're just going to turn your oven on medium. Well, I already have it on medium. And then once you have that on medium and have all your greens you're just gonna wait till it starts frying and you can just stir it around if you want to well of course you're gonna have to stir it around but once that starts frying up you're gonna add your two cups of water into there so we're just gonna wait till that starts frying up and i'm gonna come back After you pour your water, you're just gonna wait until the water gets on the rice level and then you'll start seeing like holes in your rice and that's how you know it's ready to put your top on. So we're just gonna get down to the level I said. We're just going to um, now put our top on here, this is like that. And then I'm just gonna take this off of medium and put this one on low. So once you have it like that, you're just gonna put it on low. And then you're gonna move this right here. And just let it cook after that. Now next we're going to be doing my shrimp. I'm about to peel them right now and like wash them off. So you're gonna watch me do that. Next. Okay, so now that our shrimp is unpeeled, we're just gonna rinse it off. And I'm going to use cold water to rinse my shrimp off. 
I'm just gonna rinse it off until we feel like it's good enough and ready to cook. So let's do that. Okay, so now that you approach your strip, you're just gonna take um, a block of five tablespoons of butter. So this one is four, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And you're gonna put this. It smells like vanilla. But you're gonna put that in your pan, and then you're gonna open your package. You're gonna pour it in there, you're gonna get some scissors. And then you're gonna pour this all in here. This smells good. Okay, so after that, you have those two ingredients in there. You're just gonna stir it. I'm gonna get a different one than I use for my rice. I'm just gonna get the stir one. Oh, I'm gonna stir it. And it says stir it so you have like a brown color. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And you have so our rice is done now after 20 minutes and I did like open the lid and like stir the rice around a little bit but it is done now. So I turned off my heat for my rice and then for right here I did turn it up to a medium for right now to speed up the melting process for the butter because it was taking so long. So but I am going to just <clears throat> put the heat back on low once this all melts. And then keep stirring till I get this brown color. So after you have your brown color, you're just going to take two cups of water. And I have my two cups of water. And you're just going to pour it in here. And then after you pour your water, you're going to put your shrimp in here. You're about to go get my shrimp. So I'm going to put shrimp in it as well. After you have all that. So after you put your top on and stir it up a little bit, um, you're just gonna put your, well I put my heat on medium until you get to a boiling point. After you get to a boiling point, you're just gonna put it back, well, put it on low. Right now it hasn't started boiling yet. Well, it's starting to a little bit. And you're just gonna stir it once in a while. Make sure you don't burn your food. And then we're gonna be back once that is done. Okay. Now our food is boiling, as you can see. It's so steamy and it smells good. But um, now that it's boiling, I'm going to turn my heat on low now. And then we're gonna let that cook for 15 minutes on low. So let's put our timer on. So we're gonna do 15 minutes on low and we'll just let it cook. And after 15 minutes, I'll come back and show you guys what we do next. Right now, that's just gonna cook. And I think my rice is done. I tried it and it didn't taste as good. So I just added a little bit more water and turned the heat up more. So that's what we're gonna do. 15 minutes is up, so now we're going to turn our heat on and just let our shrimp sit for another 15 minutes. So just set your timer for 15 minutes and Okay, while everything is almost done, we're gonna make our salad. We're gonna put some tomatoes in it. I don't like tomatoes, so we're gonna pick some tomatoes on. Okay, my food is all done. I made my plates, looks delicious. And then here's my um, salad. But yeah, it came out really good. So if you want to know how to make this, there you go. That is the end of my cooking show for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos. Uh, oh.